So in today's video, I'm not going to be diving into any particular design tutorial content or, you know, particular design techniques. Um, this video today is going to be a bit more around like strategy and just how you want to kind of approach designing for, you know, early stage SaaS companies, software companies that are looking to move quickly, you know, ship things fast, but obviously ensure there's still quality there and everything. Um, and yeah, I'll be sharing some some insights that could be of value to you, whether you're a designer, you know, who's who's hired for one, by one of these companies, maybe as a solo guy or you're working in a team or, you know, you're a founder and, you know, you're trying to get a sense of the design process and, you know, you want your design to be quality, but obviously, you know, you're still trying to move quickly and you don't want to spend months and months and months on it. So, um, the first thing <clears throat> I'll kind of dive into, you know, I've got a few points I'll go over, but the first one I'll kind of mention is, is design systems. Now, obviously early on as a designer, <clears throat> you're not really going to be adding a lot of value, making a spending hours of, you know, their budget and their time, um, crafting some, you know, overly intricate design system filled with a million different variants, every kind of toggle and state and, and, and different kind of component, um, documentation, all this stuff is really going to be kind of low value add, um, you know, for these companies early on, you know, what they want is obviously quality design, you know, good UX, strong visuals done at speed, you know, the design system is useful, um, but it's not a huge value add for these companies, you know, when they're trying to grow and, and ship things fast. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, for example, in this, in this design system, this is a pretty common design system that I've put together for, uh, this, this company. And, um, I'm by no means a <clears throat> design system expert. You know, I keep things very, pretty pretty basic I, i'm by no means a, a a really super high level like design systems guy you know you've got the logo you know i've got my type scale you know colors um you know shadows that have been kind of labeled with some examples you know icons and then in terms of components obviously buttons you know some inputs a toggle um, loaders, notification things, things that are going to be used, you know, constantly across the, the product. You know, if, if you're componentizing, you know, every single piece of, of the thing and just overdoing it, you're slowing yourself down and you're kind of slowing the company down really because they, a developer is going to be able to build, you know, with a system like this, you know, easily. And, you know, I've spoken to some of them and often you know, they don't even have a good look at the design system. They're just going through the screens and just building and, and they've got their own process. So my advice is obviously, yeah, don't overcomplicate the design system. Don't make it take too long. Stick to the, the basics, stick to the essential elements that are going to speed up your process and create consistency and then, you know, move on from there. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I kind of want to go into is don't, be aiming for perfection basically and obviously <clears throat> as a designer that's a really difficult thing to do because we want you know everything to look amazing we're constantly striving for more and more amazing looking you know products and components and designs but again if you're spending too too much time trying to you know perfect the design of every single screen in every piece again you're kind of slowing down the process and you're moving out of you know that zone where you're adding value to the company you're moving into a zone where it's it's not adding any value to them because <clears throat> for example i mean some of these modals i've got here i mean these aren't the best designed modals by any means um you know they're they're, they're not the spacing could probably be improved um some of the typography and stuff that the, the, there's a bunch of different things you could do to make that modal better but again, <clears throat> what value am I adding by spending, you know, four hours in that day making the perfect modal? Um, you know, this modal is still going to function. A user is is not really going to have much of an issue with that modal. Um, so again, <clears throat> avoid kind of perfection essentially, because there's always going to be a time and place where you, when you know, 
you're either rehired for that project and you know they've got more of a budget and they can spend more time you know and you can craft each thing you know meticulously but for companies that are going to want to you know move and build fast you know if the design is good and, and it's and it's functional do your best to just kind of move on and then if you've got time later you can refine things but again avoid perfectionism because it's really not going to add any value to kind of these companies and um yeah and obviously you if, if you're a designer you want them to um hire you again and you know if you're if you're a founder of a SaaS company yeah you don't want to get bogged down in the details so um yeah that's another point there <clears throat> um another kind of small thing to go over is obviously um you know mobile and desktop screens now <clears throat> Obviously, if it's more of a B2C, you know, SaaS, um, then likely mobile is going to be, you know, a lot of the user base. Um, if it's more of a B2B SaaS, um, then mobile can often, some of the companies that I've worked with, be completely non-existent and, and they don't even need any mobile screens because quite simply not a single user is going to be using their, their software. Um, on a phone um, or even a tablet, you know, they just simply are not going to be doing that um, so <clears throat> Obviously you want to communicate with you know, whoever you are whether you're the designer or the founder and and, and make it clear like Do you even need mobile screens? Um, you know, is that even a priority? Do you have any percentage of users even like using mobile screens? And if not, then again, you can just completely cut them out of the process and that's just going to allow the the company to just move a lot faster. They don't have to wait for you to create and get feedback on all these different mobile screens. If 99.9% .9 of the users, if not 100% in some cases, are using the desktop version, because often the companies will have that information, and yeah, you're just going to save so much time. And then you know, if if a mobile version becomes um, Important later down the line then you can easily just go in and, 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 and add some designs for that, but yeah There's no point <clears throat> Doing all these different mobile screens all these different mobile states if you know It's some b2b software where yeah, not a single customer is going to be using it on mobile So again, obviously that's a communication thing with, with the company and with the founder um, And it's just something to keep in mind um, basically um, now <clears throat> The next and probably like final point I'll cover is don't overcomplicate the visuals. Um, now, <clears throat> obviously, this is the design here. This is like a client's feature. They're still kind of building it. Um, the design is okay. You know, it, it's pretty nice. There's some nice elements to it. it it's quite functional. Um, but obviously, you know, if any of the designers that you know I work that I speak to you know on X and and the kind of work you see on there um, across dribble of course we can take all of this and constantly like push the boundaries of the design you know you know cr make the icons you know super fancy add lots of you know crazy details everywhere um, but again you're gonna kind of not be adding value at that point for the company at that stage um, so yeah you really don't want to kind of over design things you know over design the components over design the sidebar and uh, and things like this because you're gonna slow the process down and um, you're not adding value at that point um, you know as I said before there'll be a time and place um, whether you're a founder or a designer to you know sit there and meticulously do you know craft an amazing visual language for your product you know over you know many many months but if you're trying to build fast ship fast get users um and start making money then you need to kind of find a limit with the visuals um based on the time you've got as a founder or a designer you know the budget you've got that's being worked with and find that perfect balance between obviously great visuals, you know, a functional design and then kind of knowing when to kind of ease off basically um, to ensure that, yeah, the company can move forward, you know, at speed w with good design. Um, obviously, yeah, a lot, a lot of, you know, this is still, you know, a nice functional design, but obviously 
you know with the sidebar here we could get more technical we could make these icons really fancy we could add some interesting details in places and you know really kind of get a bit nitty and gritty with the with the details and the styling but again <clears throat> you're gonna move past um, adding value and you're kind of gonna start slowing things down a bit so I think as a designer this is more difficult for the designers point of view just knowing when to stop because you know I've worked on projects where obviously there's there's parts to it where I've been like oh you know I'd love to just go crazy on this particular component and just make it look amazing but again you know there's a hundred other screens I've got to design and you know they want to build they want to ship fast they want to move they want to move forward and you know you're not adding value by spending a week crafting you know one component to make it look amazing so um <clears throat> that's that's kind of a the final message there and um yeah hopefully that will make sense and you know whether you're a founder or a designer you know hopefully there was some some valuable insights there and um yeah thanks for watching <laughs>